so the creation of the family health program, so which is which is what we're going to discuss now uh, with Dr. Becker. Uh, so the idea was Brazil, during, until the, the 80s, was very focused in centralized, huge, large structures of care. And of course, when you have that, it's it's very hard to reach out to the those who need the most, who live in isolated areas, poorer areas, rural areas. Uh, uh, and so these people would have to go to Sao Paulo, go to the big cities to go to get this, their care. And so they said, okay, we're going to shift this and we're going to focus on smaller units and we're going to try to reach out to people to, tie to, to, start, to start using prevention mechanisms and teaching and educating the population on how to prevent diseases and how to take care. And they created this program, which is the Family Health Program, which consists of groups of people. So they have groups of uh, family health uh, groups who each group uh, receives a, a, a number of families in that area that they're, design, they're, they're, they're uh, assigned to. And they every day they go out and they reach out to their that those families in their houses, wherever they need to go, and they take their weights, they take their blood pressure, they make sure they're taking the medication, they try to explain prevention, so we, now we're having the, everybody's talking about the Zika virus, so there's people like going, making sure that you don't have water open to, to, for the mosquitoes to, to put their larva, so it's, it's, it's that program, had the, the idea was let's reach out to the population and, and try to, to do primary care and prevention. And but that idea has only recently come here in the United States. I mean, we've talked about it for years, but now, now, it's Langone, Langone Medical Center talking about population health. But imagine if Langone Medical Center would go out in the community and do what this, that's not being done yet. There's no financing for that. This RIP is, is trying to change things a little bit. But, 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 this, but this model is not, you know, so it's not as if that model has never been implemented. This is actually an example uh, where with a lot of political mobilization, it was implemented up to a certain point with some unintended effects and other intended effects that we can discuss with Dr. Uh, Becker. And it's now we have currently 34,000 teams. So the team consists of a doctor, nurses, uh, technicians, uh, physical therapists, you can you name it. They have, like, teams have uh, a multi uh, capable team of uh, specialties. And it, now it started in the poor areas in Brazil, in the northeast area of Brazil. And, and then it was expanded to the whole country, and now it covers half of, more than half of the population. See, 55 percent of the population get uh, assistance from uh, the family health program. Of course, they, they we still have the big hospitals, we still have a, a lot of specialized medicine, but I think this is the biggest uh, improvement that we had in Brazil since the since SUS. Uh, so now I'm going to show a little, this is just cute. It's cute. It's cute. Uh, show a little video that talks a little, a little bit about this universal health care, which Daniel Becker is on the video. And then I'm going to call him and we're going to try to make this work. Otherwise I have to come up to things to talk for another hour, which it's not going to be hard. This unassuming medical clinic is on the front lines of healthcare delivery in Brazil. Located in Villa Canoas, a slum in Rio de Janeiro, it serves some 600 families from the surrounding community. A member of the health team, some of whom live in the slum as a condition of working here, shows us around. Our vaccine campaign is on this room. We move by the messages posted on the wall warnings about the dangers of smoking and dengue fever. The focus here is not just sickness, but lifestyle and prevention. Here's the doctor's room, and she's currently seeing a patient. The young woman being treated today is Joanna Loreiro de Almeida Ricardo. She's 17. I decided to come because I had a strange pain and I got worried. Pay attention to her face. They gave me the medication I needed and I was treated very well. And just as important, did she have to pay for this visit? No, I didn't have to pay. 
health care in Brazil is a right. She's That's laughing. the law. And the state must pay for it. And so in this country of nearly 200 million people, there are no uninsured. And the array of free medical coverage is growing in Brazil. 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 Brazil.